Good evening, 47. Your target is Philo Newcomb, a wedding planner whose CV reads like a Shakespearean tragedy. While his job is to make dream weddings a reality, he is not in the business of fairy tale endings. When one half of a couple catches his eye, Newcomb will ingratiate himself with them. Then during the course of his work, he will covertly murder their partner to clear the way for his romantic overtures. Our client was once the subject of Newcomb's infatuation and lost the love of her life as a result. Having some suspicions, she's followed Newcomb's career closely ever since and noticed a pattern of ill-fated lovers emerging in his wake. When she heard he'd been hired by a couple planning a destination wedding in Argentina, she contacted us about putting an end to Newcomb's sanguine love stories. Good luck, 47. Yo, what's going on, guys? So I got the Heartbreaker, the latest elusive target, which I'm very late on because I'm a terrible YouTuber. I thought he was later on in the month, but that actually turns out to be a whole different elusive target. That's like August 20th or something. So I'm just going to do the basic setup with the uh, the original starting point. And I'm going to speed it up a little bit just to shorten the video and kind of get to the point. Uh, this elusive target's almost over, uh, less than 24 hours, so I, I kind of dropped the ball. So if you follow the elusive target during the mission, he'll mention his van. That's it over there. Uh, you don't want to go at it that way. Well, don't forget to grab the invitation right there. There's just way too many guards. So what we're going to do is we're going to go go around the back. Uh, watch out for that roving patrol. Swing around. There you go. Use the grass. So in the van, he's going to have a little note. I guess it has like his... The people that he's killed or, or something bad. What we're going to do is we're going to send it... We're going to show it to the two ladies that are getting married. And then they're going to get away from him. And then they're going to stop following him. And that's going to leave him open. And then he's going to go drink some wine. And we're also going to get some lethal pills. I'm not going to use those. I don't really like the accident kills that much. I like to hide the body just to be sure. I don't think you should get Silent Assassin for accident kills where... You know, you'd run up, you throw a briefcase in his face and it explodes, and then you can run away, and then that's silent assassin. No, nah, I don't think so. Uh, you can't go out the same way you dropped in. You're going to have to climb up on these little speakers here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up a medic poisoning in the area where, where he drinks the wine, and I'm going to use that. I like that better because it, it he'll, uh, the, uh, the target will drink it, and then they'll walk away, and they'll find, they'll kind of isolate themselves, and I'll make it easier to kill them. Alright, so we got the little note. I got the lethal pills I'm not going to use. I'm going to pick up a coin on the desk. Just to have a little extra one. And then um, down there is going to be the theater where that guard is. I'm going to do this on assassin suit only. So I can't go through that way. So I'm going to go in this little back way. And you're going to need the lockpick for this. So I'm just going to grab this guy right away. It's going to be four people in here. There's going to be two boxes. So we can get two people in each box. Just got to be careful. The one guard will see me if I try to put him in a box now. So I'm going to try to get him out of the way a little bit. Uh, then the emetic poison is going to be in this little door right there. I'll get that later. So what happened was... I'm going out of my way to be real careful, high bodies, doing all this extra work. And then I haven't played this level in a long time, and I kind of forgot about the exits. And I just assumed I could go back out the way at the starting point, that there would be an exit there. But there's not, and you kind of have to either go through the wine field, where there's like 100 guards and there's workers, or find the boat, go down where the boat is which I don't even really remember the level, so I was like, I'm not trying to do that. So I tried to go through the wine field, and right as I was exiting, I got head faked by a guard. He turned left, and as I went, he turned right back, and then he caught me. And then I already killed the target at that point. So if you played the elusive targets before, you, you can restart at any time until you kill the target, and then you're stuck, you're locked in. 
And then I'm going to drop the weapon there, which kind of throws a wrench in my plans, but it, it, it almost kind of helped me too, because what happens is the target's going to go up on the stage and start talking. He's going to see the weapon there, I didn't realize, and he's going to go get a guard. And it kind of helps me because it cut his speech short, and it kind of saved time. And I knew there was a camera here. I had a feeling if I used the emetic poison, I had a feeling he's going to go out this way. So I took out that camera now. And then I was right. He, he does end up going out that way. He's going to walk up to the top by some people. But farther enough away that you could take him out without being seen. And then there's going to be some high grass to put his body in. Alright, so I poisoned the wine. Now I just got to find him. I was running all around. I'll just edit out me looking for him. I kind of caught him at a bad spot. Like I was saying, he's going to be in the theater when I catch him. He's going to be coming down the steps. So I cleared out everybody. And he's going to start to talk. He's going to see the weapon. And he's going to go get a guard. And then the women will come out with him. And then I could give one of them the note. And then they'll separate from him and stop following him. And then that'll leave him uh, vulnerable. I thought I had it in the inventory for some reason. Alright, so they're going to leave. The only thing you got to watch, when that guard picks up the weapon, takes it somewhere, and then he comes back. You just got to watch when he comes back. You can't forget about him, because he, he's gonna, eventually going to come back through the area. So you don't, you don't want to be getting caught taking him out while the guard's uh, coming back. He's, the guard's going to go out the same way that he's going to go out after he drinks the wine. Like I said, I'm fucking pissed that I did all this work, and then I got to the, right at the exit, and there was literally, I don't know, there was one, two, three, three guys standing by the exit, plus a two-man roving patrol that were moving pretty quick. And I was trying to throw coins to get people to move, and it just wasn't working. I was not hitting the right spots. And I just kind of went for it, and it just didn't work. So I almost get caught. Like I said, that guard was coming back right there. So I got behind here. And then he almost sees me again, because he instead of going right to the door that he came in, and he starts, he walks right towards me. But because I was right up on the cover, uh, he didn't see me. And I was getting nervous, because now that guy's walking away. As I'm waiting for the guard, he's taking forever. But he's going to be right up here throwing up. I didn't want to push him. Because I wasn't sure if uh, somebody would see his body. And then right here's another little trick. I was worried about pulling him around to that opening. So I just threw his body over and then met him on the other side. And then once he's in that grass, he's good to go. You just snap his neck. And then right here is when I started to really... I actually almost went up here by accident and got caught. Whoops. I'm starting to look where I'm going, and I don't see, see the exit sign, so I start to be like, oh, what the fuck? And then it kind of hits me, like, wait a minute. Uh-oh. This isn't good. <laughs> and you can see the other one had a lock on it, so I had to find the key. And I haven't played this level in a while. I don't really remember where they are. Even though I made a video on where all the keys are, I don't remember. And I can see it's all the way through here, where there's like 100 workers and security. So I'll just leave this part in so you guys can have an idea if you're trying to escape what it's going to look like. But I almost made it, but I failed. But everything else applies. Like, I pretty much got Silent Assassin suit only, but just screwed up the ending. Oh, well. All right, thanks for watching. I did play the, the Garden Escalation 2 in Dartmoor, which wasn't very hard, so I don't even know if I'll make a video. Maybe a guide on the, um, there's a challenge to get five electrocutions. I might do a video on that. But other than that, it was pretty easy. Uh, but any questions, let me know. I'll see you guys later. Bye.
I knew our nameless friend would come through. 